Hi, in this video, I want you to imagine that you are on your computer. It could be a desktop or a laptop. Here it's on a desktop. I'm on a desktop currently. And you have internet access, Wi Fi access, of course. And you are going to go to a web page. Let's say you're going to the um, SJU uh, website, okay, and you go to sju.edu and you click enter. What happens? What happens in that moment uh, when you're going there? Well, what happens is that your computer, via the wireless cable, and this happens also when it's wired into the wall, uh, sends out a little signal or connects via the cable, in one case to a wireless router that might be at the top of your ceiling or some, someplace else, or somewhere that's in your wall. It sends out a signal via a group of wires, tubes, cables, rat hubs, and a variety of other different uh, hard pieces of hardware and eventually connects to something called a server, which I draw like this. Although a server is essentially just a kind of computer that is designed to give people the ability to access information. Okay. So this is your server. And this might be the SJU, uh, the SJU server. And again, a server is a kind of computer uh, that provides the opportunity for people to access information. So when your computer, go back to what I was, uh, when your computer sends out this request and you're on your you're in your browser and you say you want to go to the SJU.edu, a little request gets put out um, and goes along all these different wires and so on until it reaches the SJU server and the Computers ask the, the server a question, can I see or can I display the page that the person wants to display? And if the answer is yes, what happens is it sends the information about that page along those little, that path. It could take a different path back to your computer and then it displays it on the screen and everybody is happy. Um, what's fascinating is that it doesn't actually send the files as one large file. It breaks it down into little bits, it's called packet switching, it breaks it into little bits and it sends it along the path and it can take, all the little bits can take their own little paths to get to where it needs to be. And they're programmed when they're broken up, the file's broken up to say, okay, you're the first part, second part, third part, fourth part, fifth part, so on and so forth. And then when it gets back to your computer, it reconfigures it. Uh, occasionally, when you're on the web, I'm sure you've seen, you get to this question. It gets you sends try to view a web page, and it gets to the server, and you ask it a question, and it says no, and you're not allowed to see it. And you get displayed over here something like a 404 error. And what that means is that you are not allowed to display C the different files that exist on that server. Because servers are set up in a way to have things that are public and things that are private. And we, as we're browsing the web, see things that are public. When people hack into a server, they see the things that are private. Okay. Now, just like on your computers, servers have folders, and servers have files that exist within those folders. Okay? And we're going to be setting up on our servers a similar uh, folders and files, just as we're going to be doing on our computer as well. Okay? So this is what happens when we access a web page via our computer. Our computer sends out that signal through the various hardware that makes up the internet. Okay. And 
and the internet is a system of computers, servers, wires, routers, hubs, access points. Um, it is the hardware that we use that connects, is all interconnected. The World Wide Web, often which is used interchangeably with the internet, is something that is different. That is a system of documents that exist and travel over the internet. Okay? So the web is the files, and the internet is the hardware. Okay? The servers, the wires and routers, and the computers themselves. Your cell phones, your tablets, those all are, get connected to the internet. The documents that you see when you're on a browser or on your phone are part of the World Wide Web. Okay? And there are a lot of different systems that exist on the, uh, on the internet. There's the app system, which is different. There's the email system, which is different. And there are a couple other ones as well. And we all want these to act, you know, get things very quickly. We're going to snap and we get upset if it takes a little while long. A little while to get to you. Um, but this is the basic setup, and it's important to understand this concept that when we are browsing the web, or we're looking at a web page, or we're looking at a video on YouTube, we are actually seeing something that exists on a server that is being transmitted, either streaming in real time, or as a static document, like a PDF file, or a uh, HTML file. Okay, so now I want to talk to you a little bit about what's happening when we are going to be purchasing our URLs and hosting them on a server and installing a <clears throat> management software called WordPress. Okay, we're going to be using a company named Reclaim Hosting. This is a company that is used uh, throughout the department in all the COM 200 classes and in all the web design classes. It is a company that was started by professors uh, to provide a space where students and faculty can host websites uh, with support that is geared toward and understands the needs of students. Now, we just learned what a server is, right? A server is essentially a computer, a large computer that has documents and files on it that people, when they're going to on a website, they can access uh, that information. We are going to be hosting our websites on the Reclaim Hosting uh, server. And I want you to imagine a server as if it is a little apartment building, okay? Uh, and anybody who wants to can rent space in that particular server. Okay, and this is, go back to here, draw my little servers. And each one of you is going to be creating an account on Reclaim Hosting. Oh, I spelled hosting wrong, didn't I? Okay. You're going to be creating an account on the Reclaim Hosting server. Okay. Where you will host your URL and your WordPress-based website. Now, I'm going to be talking with you a little bit about WordPress in a little while. Uh, I'm sorry, on another video, which you'll be watching after this. So what does this all mean? 
when you purchase a URL, let's say like I purchased uh, BillWolfSJU.com or the one we're using for class, William Wolf. I am purchasing this unique identifier that I only have access to, or if I give other people access to it, I can give them that information. And by access, I mean the back end, the administrative side, the passwords and things like that. If I want people to be able to go on the web and go to BillWolfSJU.com or WilliamWolf.org, I need to host that website on a particular server. So I need to connect these with a particular server. Reclaim Hosting is called that because they host URLs on their server. So you are going to purchase both your URL and a hosting contract with them. And you can think about this as if you are purchasing or renting an apartment, which is the hosting side, and also purchasing stuff to put in the apartment, which is the URL, okay? Um, that gives you access to it, plus any files that are going to go on there, okay? When you are going to be installing something called WordPress, when you are going to be installing WordPress, can't spell tonight, you are going to be installing basically, come back to here, you're going to be installing a series of files that allows you to have a website and a blog. Those files, those files that are part of the WordPress install, which I'm going to be talking to you about, live in your unique account. We draw this as your unique space on the server. Okay. Lives on, in your unique space on the server. And each one of you, there are 20 in the class, are going to get unique spaces on their server. It's like if all of you are just putting all your digital files into the point, right? If all of you live there, for example, or if you're all living in dorms, right? You've got, you're renting that sort of space in that, in that location. Um, and we are going to have, by installing WordPress, you're going to be putting a series of files that WordPress has created onto that server that you are going to then be able to log into, change, adapt, and post to. By, and post to. Uh, these files, and the, basically a website is a series of files, will be accessible to anybody who has your unique URL. Okay? Just like you go to williamwolf.org, I have that URL and the series of files I use WordPress hosted on a particular, by a particular company. In this case, it's called Bluehost. And I'm able to go in, create new, create new uh, posts, edit my posts, all those kinds of things. You're going to be learning all about that. Uh, but for now, it's important to understand that just like earlier in the video, when somebody went to the SJU website and connected to the server where SJU is located, um, SJU has all of their web page files stored on that particular server. I don't know which one it is, but it is there. You are going to be renting space on the Reclaim hosting server, and you are going to be hosting they are, you are going to be hosting your URL, whatever it is that you get, on their server as well. In addition, you are going to be 
storing a series of files created by WordPress on their server so that when somebody goes to your URL, they are going to be able to see that material. Now I'm going to go over the process of creating the account on Reclaim Hosting Servers. I'm going to go over how to purchase the URL, choosing the URL, getting the hosting, and then installing WordPress. And we're going to have a series of videos, some that I've created, others that are available online, uh, to help get you started learning how to use WordPress. It is a very useful software. It is an industry standard. The fact that you can put on your resume that you know how to use WordPress uh, will be a big look up for you because it's what I think 50, 40 to 50 percent of the web uh, sites right now are made using WordPress. Um, so this is what we're going to be doing and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all of your stuff up online. So go ahead, watch the next video and uh, we'll give it a go. Okay.